welcome back. It's Daniel the Adjuster, and I've got a special video for you today. I'm going to answer a bunch of questions that I'm sure all of you have asked yourself and said, so I want to be an adjuster. Now, how can I do that? Well, are there too many adjusters? Maybe, maybe not. Are you a roofer? Well, Stick around, I got some answers for you. Are you a contractor, a handyman, somebody who really knows a house, thinking about being an adjuster? Well, stay tuned. Well, what if you're a student looking to get started in this business? Hmm, could I be an adjuster if I was a student? Maybe. Stick around, I'll answer your questions and are you just somebody looking for a change? Well, stay tuned. I've got the answers for you and you've come to the right place. You're probably one of those types of people or else you wouldn't be here looking at this video. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Pew! Well, welcome back. Thank you so much. Hey, and don't forget to check out my YouTube video. Uh, I've got a whole channel there for lots of different ways that you can become adjusters and training. Also, go over and check out my website. It's called Clear Sky Drone Imagery. I'll leave a link in the, in the description for you. I've got videos, I've got self-help, I've got all sorts of things there. And you can even get on my mailing list. And I can keep track of things, questions, personally. I've answered a lot of questions personally through that mailing list. So don't uh, hesitate to get over there. Okay. Oh, we also have some drone videos. So don't forget to look over there too. I really like uh, drones and uh, what they can do. So first question, are there too many adjusters? But absolutely not. Let me explain why. According to Job Outlook Research, there are 25,200 jobs available for adjusters, appraisers, examiners, investigators needed every year. Needed, okay, so that means there's a shortage. And the reason what I have seen personally is that there's a huge turnover in these adjusters, huge turnover. Adjusters don't stick at it. The reason being, inconsistent work. There's long hours, um, they have a lack of motivation on their part, or they're just not skilled. Now, inconsistent work is pretty common with anybody who's self-employed. So don't, don't forget to just remember that when you get involved. But yes, there are ebbs and flows. Summers are really busy, winters are a little bit slow, but that's okay because we make a ton of money in the summer and we can make up for the slow times in the fall and the winter. And also people don't like hanging around in their houses during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Could you imagine, you know, coming in, come on in, see all my presents under my tree. <laughs> no, people don't like you in your house, in their, in your, in their house at Christmas time. So it's just a little bit slow around that time. And actually, if you're not motivated to be self-employed, um, you like being an employee, then this is, you know, there's a conflict there. Self-employment means that you're your own boss. You make your own hours, you work hard, the harder you work, the more you make. An employee, well, you know, you just kinda are happy with what you're doing and hanging out and hey, that's, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, number two, the roofer. Now, could a roofer be an adjuster? Absolutely. They have first-hand knowledge of roofing. They've been on roofs, a lot. They're not afraid of climbing roofs, which is a majority of our claims. Uh, they know the different types of shingles, you know, they're, whether they're discontinued, whether they're 30 year laminate, 40 year, 50 year, they know if it's a three tab, uh, shake roofs, you know, they know all that stuff. And they probably have been exposed to hail and wind damage frequently. So when you think about it, these guys 
are probably the reason why the claim has been opened. They're a great guy to, uh, to move over into the adjusting world. They're also accustomed to the heat. Oh my goodness, summer is hot on those roofs. <laughs> I don't know if you've been in the Carolinas or somewhere in the South, a lot of Texas adjusters, it's stinking hot on those roofs. And roofers are used to doing that. Uh, salesmen, whether it's be, you know, you're doing the, the first inspection or you've actually installed. There's lots of uh, uh, tolerance that needs to be for that heat. And the heat's pretty insane. And also customer service. These guys are first-hand knowledge with customer service. They've talked to people, they know how to interact, and believe it or not, that's a majority of our business too. On the phone, in person, standing in front of their front door, talking to the person, a lot of interaction with customers. So, hey, you guys are already set, already ready to go. So jump on board. All right, what if you're a carpenter? a handyman, a contractor, something like that. Could I be an adjuster if I was one of those? Well, guess what guys? I was one of those before all this started. Right from the very beginning, I had the tool belt on, uh, learned trim carpentry, went into framing and remodeling, did it all, moved right into it. And man, when I jumped right into uh, adjusting, it was like secondhand. I was used to writing estimates. I was used to talking with people. I knew all the parts and pieces of the home from soffits and fascia, cricket, cornice returns and strips. I mean, these are names that are coming up constantly with uh, the adjusting world. And then on the interior construction, we got to know cabinet grades, flooring types. Do you know the difference between a laminate and an engineered or a snap lock or a VCT uh, flooring material? Well, guess what? Got to know it. <laughs> what about behind the wall construction? Do you know uh, what's in behind the drywall? Do you know the framing and the insulation types? Do you know plumbing materials, electrical materials, HVAC materials? These are all things that you have to become familiar with because if water has transferred and damaged into that wall, then we have to assume there's stuff behind that wall that needs to be addressed and you've got to know that stuff. Also, estimate writing. Uh, you definitely have done a lot of that and also the customer service side as well. Top notch. You guys are just right up there for being a perfect adjuster type. So what about a, being a student? Could I be an adjuster if I was just fresh out of college? Oh my goodness, those are the best ones. And the reason why is that they're used to learning new things uh, and processes. So you're kind of in the mode of somebody's taught you something, they brand new, you've never heard of it and you're right there and you just soak it up. You also have a lot of enthusiasm uh, because you're out in the world and you're like, I wanna make a new business out of this. I wanna get going, I'm fired up. I wanna get, I wanna make some money. I'm tired of sitting in school, I'm ready to get going. So the enthusiasm is very high. And also students or new people into this business have not learned all the bad habits or the good habits. So they're easy to train because they are teachable because they really don't know everything they need to know. Um, so many times I've had, you know, talk to somebody about something and they've said, well, when I did this in my last uh, firm or the last place I worked, I did this, or uh, I learned that this was hail. And you're like, that's not hail. <laughs> so somebody uh, will learn something wrong. So uh, we want to, you know, students are great, great uh, opportunities for uh, becoming adjusters. Also, their expenses are typically low. Now, if you've got a guy who's gone into four years of college and he's got $50,000 in debt to schooling or more, uh, probably not a great option. But uh, for a guy who's coming out, maybe he went to community college and he's like, man, I just want to get out there and do something. Uh, he might be living at home still. His expenses are super low and he's a perfect candidate uh, for getting out there and learning and uh, growing his business. Uh, what about if you're someone who's just looking for a change, okay? Bored of your current job, uh, you're just tired of working uh, as an employee, uh, you're self-motivated, but you're constantly looking at that guy going, that guy's an idiot, he doesn't do anything and he gets paid the same as I do? That's just not right, okay? So you're the kind of guy that would be a great adjuster because you get to make all the money you want based on how much you work. So it's not about, uh, you're getting paid the same as everybody else. So if I want to work five, eight claims in one day, I can do it. 
If I want to schedule them that, I want to work all night long, hey, schedule it. You got it. If I'm a guy who wants to just take a day off tomorrow, I just schedule everything off and uh, skip a day. So it's my choice. I get to I get to be my own boss. Okay, I make my own hours, make my own schedule. I take off time when I want. If your wife's got a plan and she says, "Hey, can I can I get you in the afternoon?" You just schedule it around that. You say, "Sure, absolutely, no problem." You'll gain favor with your family and friends if you're able to make time for them. So, big question. Now that I've hit all five of you guys, <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, that's me. I'm one of those guys." Well, how do I get started? Well, I hate to say it guys, but I've been trying to tell you to go check out my videos. I am here to teach you guys how to be an adjuster from start to finish. A guy who really spent a lot of time with me and, and just really taught me a lot of stuff. And then, and, was, and there were a bunch of guys online that I learned from. They were just open to share that information with me. And I just feel compelled to do the same thing back. I feel blessed. Uh, I wouldn't have been started, hadn't, would have never started in this business if I hadn't had those guys in my life. And so that's what I'm here for too. I'm not pulling any punches. I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. Uh, the information is on, on my YouTube channel. Watch the videos start to finish. Some of them are long. I got an hour video up there and it's actually packed with more information than you wouldn't believe. So get watch my videos, okay? Get the training. Okay, number two, you want to get licensed. I talk about that in another video, so make sure you head over there and check on that. Licensing is key, uh, especially your home state. You won't be able to work any claims in your own home area until you are licensed. And then if you want to go and get started as a desk adjuster or get inside working uh, some claims when you're brand new, you're going to be licensed in multiple states. Okay, then get trained. Okay, you cannot work Xactimate, which is the software, estimating software, until you are trained. So get trained. Okay, rope and harness. Are you afraid of climbing roofs? Then you've got to get rope and harness training. Cer certainly, you don't want to be falling off that roof, or if you're nervous, why not carry a rope up with you? Tie it onto a tree at the back of the house, throw it over top, and you got that rope. Okay, but you got to know how to use that rope and harness properly to be safe and then learn your house parts. Super important to get that training there. Most important part I've, I tell people about getting started as an adjuster is save money. You've gotta have a backup of money for when times are slow. There are gonna be slow times. There's gonna be weeks that are slow. I actually just last week had a very slow week. Hey, it happens. You don't wanna be freaking out going, oh my goodness, I don't have a paycheck this week. It, it's just not worth it. Okay, and then, hey guys, I wanted to point out that if you like what you're hearing, please like, share, and comment about this video. I love your comments. Your comments are awesome. Like, what would you like me to do on my next video? What is stopping you from getting started? And what can I help you with? Leave me a comment. I love that because in fact, most of these videos that I'm creating lately are based on your comments that are saying, Hey, I, I really want to learn this. Can I can I do this, or can you show me how to do this, or what's your life like, or you know? And, and that's what I'm doing. I'm making these videos based on that. So don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to hear, and I will be sure to address your comments as quickly as possible. Well, thank you again so much. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for joining me, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Daniel the Adjuster. Boom.